What is the best AI image generator? If your answer is Midjourney, you might be wrong. Black Forest Labs recently launched the most powerful image generation model, Flux 1. On the Black Forest Lab webpage, you can see some example images generated with Flux 1. After viewing these images, I can say that it's really good at text generation. In one image, there's a lengthy text, but it still performs really, really well. Here are some more examples, and in terms of realism, you can see how good this image looks. Now, you may think these are cherry-picked images. Don't worry, we are going to try this tool. And obviously, we are going to try the free method. So, without further ado, let's dive in. Black Forest Labs Flux One is an open source platform. You can download the model and install it locally. They have three different variants. The first one is the Flux channel, which is their lowest model. Then they have the Flux dev, and their flagship model is the Flux Pro. Now, what if you don't have a beast system to install it locally? Then you can use it online. There are a couple of ways to access this AI tool for free, and the first one is through Hugging Face. This is the Hugging Face space. You will find the link on the Black Forest Labs GitHub page. On Hugging Face, there are two models available, Flux Channel and Flux Dev. But the catch is that this is a very simple space. We don't have many options in this. You can see we have the prompt area, and if I click on the advanced settings, we only have some seed numbers. You can change the aspect ratio and control the number of steps. We don't have many options in this one, but there is one more method to use this AI tool. Yes, we can use this tool on Shaka AI. Shaka AI is an AI image generation model hub and image generator platform. Here you will find all kinds of stable diffusion and other image generation models. We already made a video on it, which you can watch from the I button. All right, now to find the best model, you can search in this box. I am simply typing Flux, and you can see various custom Flux models. Some of them are LoRa models. At this moment, we only need a checkpoint model to start creating images. We can add LoRa later. So, I will set a filter from here. All right, now these are all checkpoint models. I will go with this base model. This is the Flux 1 model family. Now, you can download the model or use it online. I will click on Run Model to use it online. OK, this is the Shaka AI Image Generator platform, where you can notice some of my previous generations. Under the images, you will find the prompt box. Here, we have to enter the prompt. I will start with a very basic prompt, such as a beautiful Spanish lady with blue eyes and pink hair. After entering the prompt, hit the Generate button. It will take some time to generate the images. And here it is Shaka AI generates images with the Flux 1 model. And I can say that the image quality is just awesome. And look at this, man. Just look at the detail, the realism, the quality of the image, it's amazing. Can you believe that these images are created from just a simple prompt like this? That's not the end. You can create variations of any image by clicking on the Vary button here. These are the variation images of this particular image. That's awesome. Now, we can generate more personalized images by customizing the settings. On the right side of the page, you will find all the settings. First of all, you will find the base model option. Here, you can change the base model. Since we already set the model, I won't change it. OK, after selecting the base model, move to the Enhance Model or LoRa option. LoRa, Low Rank Adaptation, is basically a method designed to fine-tune large-scale models in a more efficient manner. To add any LoRa model, click on Add LoRa from here. Here, you will find a vast number of LoRa models for various styles. And you can see all the suggested LoRa models are based on Flux. These are awesome. I am selecting this one. You can use multiple LoRa models to get more personalized output, so to get the best result, play around with them. After the LoRa settings, you will find the options for image reference. This time, I won't use any reference image. Next, we have the image size. Set the image size you want. After that, the number of images. Shaka AI allows you to generate a maximum of four images at a time. After that, the parameter settings. Here, you will find some advanced options. First of all, the sampler methods lots of them to choose from. I can't go into detail about all of them, but I can pretty much guarantee you they're pretty much all here. Same with sampling steps, we have a default of 20. But if we want more, we can go ahead and add more. Next, the seed. If you want to use a fixed seed to generate consistent images, you can enter the seed here. This time, I will go with random seeds. Next, you'll find a very important feature. 
fix hand or face. Sometimes various eyes generate unusual hand or facial features. This option is to fix them. Unfortunately, Flux doesn't support this feature. OK, we are almost done. Now hit the Generate button to generate the images. And here are our newly generated images. And the difference is huge. Now the images are more personalized. So, with the Shaker AI Flux model, you can generate realistic images like this with a simple prompt. All right, now I will enter a complex prompt. I already generated some prompts with ChatGPT and collected them in a notepad. I enter the prompt. This time, I won't use any LoRa. Let's hit the Generate button. And these are the resulting images. I can confidently say that the images are just unbelievable. The realism, lighting, and detailing are just unbelievable. I love it. OK, now let's try the text generation capability of Flux 1. I am entering another prompt. Let's hit the Generate button. These are our images with the text. I asked to generate images where a robot wrote, Hi, I am your friendly bot on a blackboard. And you can see the result. It perfectly captures the scene. The text is perfect. There is not a single typo. I love it. OK, as we saw on the Flux website, it can generate images with longer text. So I am entering a new prompt with much longer text. After entering the prompt, hit the Generate button. And this is the resulting image. Honestly, I am just shocked by the result. It perfectly portrays the image. I didn't expect so much. I love it. All right, in the end, I am entering a much more complex prompt. Basically, I am entering a prompt to generate a movie poster of Avatar. Let's see the result. The result is in front of you. Can you believe that this poster is generated by an AI tool? I don't think so. In conclusion, I can say that the hype is real. Flux One is the perfect competitor to Midjourney. I love it. All right, friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear about your experience creating images with Shaker AI. Share your thoughts and results in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!